In my house growing up, my brother got all the privileges. Not because of seniority or birth order, mind you. We're twins. <laughs> Now, I love my brother, but this is how it was. When we were 10 years old, he got to go bike riding on Saturday mornings. I got to do the housework. After dinner, he got to go hang out with Gramps. I got to dry dishes with mom. And yes, we were each given a dollar a week to save for college, but it was largely expected that he would go for his MBA and I would get my MRS. <laughs> I see a lot of people smiling and nodding your heads in agreement. Have you ever wondered how these biases may have affected the paths that followed you into adulthood. For today, let's focus on how this messaging to 10-year-old girls prevents women from achieving the career success they seek. We know that, generally speaking, 10-year-old girls are confident, assertive, feel positive about themselves, they're likely to be hard workers, and they believe they can accomplish almost anything. There's even a saying, if you want to see what she's like as an adult, see what she's like as a 10-year-old. Hmm. Imagine if we could send her best 10-year-old self through those, oh, tumultuous, middle school years when there are so many changes happening between the ages of 10 and 12. Here are just a couple. For starters, she's trying to figure herself out where she sees herself in the world and how her parents and friends fit in. <laughs> I don't have to go farther than our 12-year-old granddaughter to hear the sighs and see the eye rolls. <laughs> oh, leave me alone! But don't go too far, because I totally need you. <laughs> right? <laughs> Their confidence plummets. There's virtually no difference in confidence between boys and girls until the age of 12. But by 14, a girl's confidence drops to her lowest point as a teenager. She believes the myth that she's not as good in science and math, even though her grades are just as strong as her male classmates. But let's get to the heart of why this really matters. It's not just about expanding science and math, for the sake of STEM, it goes way deeper. It's about opening doors to females at risk of staying in unhealthy relationships because they can't afford to get out. Let's expose our girls to the growing demand of high-paying STEM jobs so she can own her future and say no to unhealthy relationships with no apologies. To be fair, we've come a long way and we've made great strides. Women do hold powerful leadership roles in great companies. There are laws against gender discrimination, and companies are feeling the pressure more than ever to address sexual harassment claims, especially in light of the Me Too movement. Yet, after decades of research of getting women to lean in, how is it that in 2019, 
Women in senior roles in corporate America has increased 1% in the past 10 years. Just one. At the current rate of change, it will take until 2059 for women to earn the same as men for doing the same job. And it's even more bleak for women of color. That means for women as a whole, they will continue to be underpaid for the next 40 years. <laughs> Come on. We can't wait that long. What are we missing? Conventional wisdom focuses rightly on encouraging women to climb the ladder of success. But focusing on women is not enough, and it's not early enough. We need to get girls to the bottom rung of that ladder, and we need to make sure that it's strong enough to hold them as they climb. For women leaders tomorrow, we need to rally today around girls so they can take their first step of the steep climb when they are 10 years old. <clears throat> I've witnessed impactful results of intervening when girls are 10. Let me tell you what's happening close to my heart, in your backyards, and across the United States and Canada to change the trajectory of future female leaders. Girls, Inc is a national organization and expert on girls that teaches girls what to do when they need it. The staff are trained to inspire girls to be strong, smart, and bold. Volunteers from companies ranging from entrepreneurs to Fortune 500s, open doors to mentorships girls would never have had access to otherwise. It matters. It matters a lot. The issues girls face today are real and profound. More than half of girls ages 10 to 17 have low body esteem. One in seven will not graduate high school, and one in four young women will experience sexual assault by the time she's 18. Oh. We need to do better. We can do better. Take Priscilla, who was no different than any other 10-year-old. The driving force in raising Priscilla was her proud dad, who wanted her to have every opportunity he didn't have. So he brought her to Girls, Inc. and enrolled her in a STEM and leadership program when she was 10 years old. A few years later, when she was a teenager, other teenagers, well, may not have been making the best choices. But Priscilla was being mentored in the research department of the largest hospital in her community. She graduated high school with a full academic scholarship to an Ivy League and will be first in her family to graduate college. Dad brought her to the ladder, and Girls, Inc. showed her how to take her deserved first step. And she's one of thousands in these programs across the country. Her class of 20 received over 100 college acceptances, over a million dollars in scholarships, over 50% were first in their families to go to college, and 72% selected STEM-related majors. Let's hear some noise for these future female leaders. <laughs> They'll be our bosses someday. <laughs> 
Not that we should stop or diminish empowering women, but with the return on investment that strong, we need to intentionally start getting girls to that ladder. The change we seek needs to start now, and it starts with all of us. Knowing what you know now, raise your hands if you're willing to inspire 10-year-old girls. Raise your hands and raise them high. Great. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. And I've got a plan, and it's really easy to remember and to do. It's called G-I-R-L-S, girls. G is for grit, and girls need it. It means being resilient and learning from mistakes. I introduce her to pro-girl environments that teach her to be healthy, educated, and bold. R is for role model, and it starts with all of us. L, lift her as you climb. Extend a hand. Bring her up the ladder with you. S is for smart ask. And yes, the pun is intentional. <laughs> Teach her how to ask for what she needs. Imagine if girls stepped on the first rung of that ladder with confidence in asking for what she needs or wants, maybe we won't have to wait another 40 years. Thank you.